Every week, the Tesco distribution network receives and dispatches over 50,000 vehicles. Goods on trucks from all over Europe arrive and need to be distributed as quickly as possible and without incident. With over a hundred trucks arriving every day, the system needs to run like clockwork. With every step followed correctly. The driver hands over his keys and receives a token. The process usually runs smoothly, but today it's taking longer than usual. The driver receives a call from his head office and he's under pressure to get back. In the office, there's been a changeover of staff and a new systems clerk begins his shift. The driver returns and he's eager to leave. There's been a misunderstanding. The clerk returns the keys too early. The driver doesn't know his truck is still being unloaded. Pull it off! Stop! 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 Don't reverse! There's somebody underneath! You'll crush him! You have just seen the type of dramatic incident that can occur at any distribution centre. Every year in the UK, there are 246,000 workplace accidents. 12% of major accidents occur during the loading and unloading of goods. In a busy depot like Hinkley, we can have over 100 vehicle movements on and off the loading bays in a single shift. So it's a very busy working environment. If a vehicle pulls off a loading bay, that can result in a loader or a goods in member of staff falling out the back of a vehicle. They can be injured with their MHE and their equipment. They could fall out with that, they could be crushed and face some very serious injuries. I have heard of companies in other parts of our industry where people have been killed. This is very much an industry-wide problem. Every distribution centre, every distribution company um, in the UK, Europe, across the world will have this issue. So as a distribution director, one of the things I lose sleep over is the fact that although we've got a good way of working in terms of possible drive-offs, it isn't a fail-safe system we're working. The current system relies on people getting everything right 100% of the time, and that's just not realistic. For Leslie Whitaker, a systems clerk at Tesco for 21 years, the issue of driverways is all too real. You never think that there's going to be an accident in your place of work. But it did happen here. A driver pulled off the bay, somebody got hurt, and that's the scary part. And that's the side I never ever want to have to go through again. No one person was responsible for this accident. But for those working in distribution, there can be a high price to pay. If I was to pull off on a red light, the biggest danger would be of killing somebody. The second point would be uh, negligence of losing my job, um, regardless of how many years of service I'd been here. And the danger would be if somebody fell through the warehouse door and I was in danger of pushing the trailer back, I could crush that person to death. As an unloader, you're the one that's always in the danger area. You're the fella on the back of the trailer. You're the fella who's bringing the pallets off the trailer. You're the one that's always, always thinking about, is it going to be me this time? There's so many things that can go wrong. Keys can get knocked off hooks. Drivers could grab their keys, to be honest, because they're only under hooks under our counter. We give the paperwork and the driver's keys back to him. We have no safety net to tell us that bay is doors down, everything's shut off. We've not got 100% assurity that it's okay to let that driver go. If we're reliant on people, people want to get the job done. They are doing it to get further forward with their organisation to get the product out. But then people might make mistakes. If they make a mistake, that mistake can be fatal, it can be catastrophic, it can cause serious injury. So if we can take out the human element and prevent those errors occurring, that's the way forward. Tesco takes employee safety very seriously. Distribution health and safety manager Joe Carthy has been looking into ways to reduce the risk of drive-offs. One of the challenges that we all face is there isn't a ready-made solution. It's just not out there. 
We've got together with a number of our operating partners um, and asked them to um, develop a solution that would address the specific challenges we, we face within Tesco's. The answer is two separate physical solutions to reduce the risk of driverways. One for goods in and one for goods out. Our operating processes for goods in and goods out are very different. Uh, one, one size doesn't fit all here. We need two separate processes, two, two separate systems. So the, so the primary focus for the solution for goods in, we needed to get to a position where a driver could never have their keys returned to them whilst a warehouse door was still open. A new key control system has been developed to work with the existing goods in process. Systems clerk Adam Marklew explains. The driver comes into the office and he brings us his keys which we then put onto an IFOB which looks like this. We insert the fob into the cabinet. It then tends, sends a signal to the bay door which enables the tipper to be able to open the door safely. Um, once they've unloaded the vehicle they then put the door back down and it sends a signal back to the cabinet which enables us to release the driver's keys. If they haven't put the door down properly then it won't release the keys so it's completely safe. With the key locked away in the cabinet the driver can't drive away from the loading bay until the loading bay door is closed and everyone is safely out of the way. If an electronic key control system is in place the likelihood of a driver away incident occurring is reduced down to a very very low level. With this in place it prevents a human factors coming into it. It's a brilliant move forward to prevent these accidents from occurring. For the staff on the ground, it's been a welcome change. I'm so impressed with the new system. It's so easy to use and it takes away that awful thought in the back of the mind that the driver may drive off with you on the back of the trailer. Some people are resistant to change. They shouldn't be with this. It is an excellent system. As a person that benefits the most from this system, I now feel safe in my job. With the new system, I feel completely safe. I have my, as I call, my security blanket back. The reception from the staff and from the drivers has been absolutely fantastic. From the staff at Goods Inn, very simple for them to use with a simple IFOB and they absolutely love the system because they know it protects them and stops them from being injured or being on the back of a vehicle when it pulls off a, off a loading bay. But preventing driverways is a twofold solution. Goods Out presents a different challenge. So the Goods Out solution is very different to Goods In. Um, the, the trailers are stand loaded on our warehouse in preparation for loading. Predominantly that function is performed by our shunter drivers. The Goods Out system requires the brakes to be locked on the trailer before the doors can be opened. When a trailer is ready for loading, you get the unit from this storage area and attach it to the red airline Susie coupling of the trailer. This key only comes out once the trailer brakes are locked on and that means that this vehicle isn't going anywhere. So next we go to the control box on the outside of the bay and insert the key into the lock. Once I turn this key, power the door, the loaders see a bright amber light on their door so they know this trailer is secure on the outside. Like the old system, you can see the red light is on which means that the loading is in progress. But with this new system, there's no way that the trailer can be removed off the bay because it's impossible to get that key out of that control box with the warehouse door open. And it physically cuts out any possibility of a warehouse door being up and anyone being able to pull a trailer away from that bay. So what do those who work with the new system think of it? The system's working fantastically well at Hinkley. We put it in in the summer. Um, and so far we haven't had a single drive off or, or driver pull off since we put it in place. I absolutely believe in this new system and I believe it's the right thing to do for the business. So it takes away the risk that an individual can make a, a human error. It takes the human error element out of this process. The drive away prevention systems that are being implemented at Tesco will prevent these injuries from occurring and it will be a benefit to all. We've listened to our staff in terms of we've got a problem. We've worked a solution in a depot shoulder to shoulder with our staff. We're going to roll it out into all the depot network over the next 12 months. And it's something that we can give back to our staff to make it a great place and a safe place to work. I'm really happy with this new system that we've got and I can reassure any staff that will be having this system that if they have any doubts in their mind, like I have had, they won't have any more with this system. Fantastic.